YouTube. Remember two years ago when I did the coverage on Storm Nemo? Well, today in 2015, well, it's my brother's birthday today. So, it's also one of the most historic snowstorms in history. Maybe. This is called Storm Juno. Now, I'll be a doing a coverage of this just like I did with Storm Nemo. So let's get started. This is a potentially dangerous storm that could affect up to 50 million people who live in the upper northeastern states of America. The amount of snowfall is predicted to be uh, two or three feet. Now, New York's highest snowfall in inches is 26 inches. Boston is 27. The actual highest snowfall rate for New York City was in 2006, it was 27 inches. The Connecticut governor or Daniel Malloy has banned all non-essential vehicles from uh, entering roads at 9 p.m. tonight. Even in New York, the governor has banned all vehicles not essential, I mean, from, you know, transporting. And at 11 p.m. tonight. At Boston, well, it's the same thing, except it's at 12 um, a.m., midnight. A blizzard isn't the only dangerous thing about this snowstorm. It's also the, the hurricane wind, winds which are predicted to go 75 miles per hour, which could eventually down trees and power lines. The snow is predicted to go down at about two to five inches per hour. And, and that means uh, zero visibility, which is total whiteout. If you saw my last coverage on S Storm Nemo, then I was going around places, interviewing people at different spots, a uh, truck driver, someone at the beach taking photos. Now, we won't be able to do that because of the ban. Um, we will do it from the safety of my front yard. snow there will be. So one inch of rainfall would be um, 10 inches of snowfall. So basically that means more snowfall for all the kids who don't have school the next two days I guess. The next two days for me. I'm not sure about any of you out there. Uh, uh, let me tell you a story guys. Since, you know. I once heard that in a Russian town, the pipe burst and all the water flew out and it all froze and and no one could access the cars because the water was at least five feet high, I think. Yeah. So that is how dangerous snowfall can be. It looks like the big historic snowstorm that was about to, you know, make history in five states failed. It was supposed to be 36 feet or 24, but now, I mean inches, but it's only 6 inches, which makes me a bit sad. It's 4 p.m. right now, and you can see that cars are not on the road. The travel ban has been lifted, uh, but still, it's snowing. It's snowing, so why would cars be on the road when you could just be relaxing? Anyway, since the travel ban has been lifted, it still has it was still a good ban because it saved a lot of assets, cars, uh, people's property from getting damaged. Because last night, uh, the conditions were horrible. It was like blizzard, it was blizzard, blizzard winds. I don't know how to say blizzard. If, even though I'm sad about it, I think it was still right to put the ban. We already had a uh, 
very good snowstorm, Storm Nemo, two years ago. But I'd like to think that all the people in the news who spoke about the weather, how horrendous it was going to be, they don't think they're crying wolf because we got prepared for uh, something that we thought was going to happen. It almost happened because of the blizzard last night, kind of. But we prepared. <coughs> we prepared. And if you don't prepare, you're caught off guard. That's bad. So, the little snowstorm that couldn't has ended. And now my dad has to plow this super long driveway, which would take an hour. Hi, my mom. Thanks for watching. Please like, like, comment, subscribe, and look at other videos on I and I Mon and Leo Sai. Uh, it's part two of this coverage. I'll see you all next time.